Hey, it's the John and Chase show. Well, so you and I used to work together. Mm-hmm. The best couple years of your life. It it was. Wait, let me let me as I rehearsed it. The greatest experience ever in radio was getting to work with you and Anthony. John feels this way about being my friend now. Same situation. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Great greatest experience of my life. See, you, Next yeah. to probably being a father, but close second. Uh, I would... Eagles win the Super Bowl probably trumps so you too. Oh, so like, now you're down to three. Right. You're, you're That's three valid. now. That's valid. Okay. Uh, so point out about how how you know, it started we should tell lisa here yeah how we got kathy back to wichita because you yeah. know for years how many years did you essentially you know get paid to sit in your pajamas and work from home because um, you did the show from I, Lindsborg. I, I, mm-hmm. well i first in wichita and then andover and then Lindsborg, and the whole time i worked out of the house but that's because i was when you say whole time how long Oh, it was probably 20 years. She literally worked at her house for 20 years in, in all, her pajamas and drink coffee. In, in all fairness. And though, she'd always be like, oh, I got to step out and do weather for another station. When in fact, I think she was like just doing chores and like no, making no, no, everyone No, think. no, no, I had to. But in, in all fairness, I was raising four kids. So that way I was able to stay home and I was able to get them up and off to school in the morning. And then I could be a room mother and do things at school. I was there when they got home at the end of the day, and then I just run in and do weather for an hour or so on radio and do my little thing. And mm-hmm. then, so it was perfect combination. And then, and then came us. And then came Anthony and Chase, who just completely squashed that for me. Well, we. I think I recall. The tough part was we couldn't tell, like. We were, we were in the studio together, Anthony and I, and she was in our ears, and we'd make jokes, but you couldn't see her face, so it's like, ooh, did she take that well? Is that, like, <laughs> did we offend her? Well, you know, like, we, which well, we probably did. We, I was going to say, I doubt that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> there, were, there were times. Uh, no, but, but, and there was also just a little bit of a delay sometimes, and that just made it so awkward. Because she, she calls it a delay, that's just catchy. I think it's, I would, maybe, <laughs> yeah, that just, maybe it was in my head. But, but I started working with Anthony, and then we brought Chase on board uh, after, because you went with us to Nashville for the CMAs, uh-huh. and um, we drug him in on the air our last morning in Nashville. And Keep in mind, that last morning was the show after the CMA Awards show. So we hadn't we, been to bed. We hadn't been to bed, because we were picked up at the hotel, like, I mean, we probably slept in at well, right not. No, because we got picked up every morning at John 3, knows what I'm like, like when I'm like tired. He's tired. cranky. He oh. he is cranky. He's, he's very, very, you hear he's John very he's cranky. Tired. John's like, I'm like the he's opposite. Hilarious. Like oh, you get slap he's happy. Fun. Oh, like, oh, oh, you've gets, never met anyone more slap happy. Oh, like that's it gets awesome. a little weird. It gets I mean, like weird. he'll start talking on hashtags the entire time. <laughs> like he'll be like hashtag we, I'm tired. We hashtag you want to get food. Hashtag what do you think we should do next? Hashtag what. Like, I'm not kidding you for, like, oh. he's not, probably four hours. It was a solid four hours. Yeah. Yeah, for the Blue Stem After Prom. Oh, how yeah. funny. Oh, wait, go. I've got to, I've got to see that one, one of these days. Well, we've got a video of that we'll show you later. <laughs> okay, So good. going back to, yeah, we came, I came on, and then we, we started doing that, and I remember we went into our boss, and we kind of said, we weren't, like, upset with her at all, but we were like, this is tough, because... We can't really feel like we, I don't know. It, it kind of was because well, we had gotten closer too. Yeah. In. Well, and this was a. We new, said, fi- long story short, we wanted Kathy to come to Wichita. But it forget was, Lindsborg, forget it, Nancy, it was, forget them all. <laughs> forget everybody. But it was a, it was a much more interactive show yeah. with the three of us, and so it did involve us all being together, and then. Um, and, and by this time, all my kids were grown. The girls were in their last few months of their senior year of high school. And so they really appreciated the fact that yeah. you guys dragged me away because it was like, yay, Mom, mom's leaving at 3.30 in the morning. It was kind of, so Lindsay, one of the twins, one of your daughters, you have two boys and two girls, mm-hmm. just got married. And I went to the wedding and it was kind of weird for me. Because see it was Lindsay the, well, because I remember when we first started the show, I went up to their prom. Yeah. 
like where the before, like that was the first time I went to Lindsborg. Yeah, and that would have been their senior prom yeah. that you went to, and 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 saw them off, mm -hmm. you know, and yeah. we took some pictures and stuff. But yeah, and here she she just got married. Yeah, they're all grown up now. But yeah, that's when I started coming into the studio, and then it was downhill from there. <laughs> uh, I I know exactly how you feel. I feel like you two should not be on the same page about this. I feel like I was just telling John earlier, I'm like, his life was boring until I came along. Look how much fun I've brought his life. Yeah. Same I with mean, you. I had I had two girls and a wife and yeah, but my <laughs> life my life was completely <laughs> boring before you chase. Like Bore you completely changed That's boring. You completely changed it around, you know. You're now you're now, welcome. Now we do hashtag chase day every day, right? Ha oh, have you heard about this? Everything's always about chase. It, it, whoa. It's it is. It's about all about chase. chase. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Everything's whoa. Always this about This is a hard time out. <laughs> this is <laughs> no, look, this, this is your idea to have us in the this same This is a podcast. hard time out right now. <laughs> no, because, no. first off, especially with you over there, Joe Philadelphia, you, so, we decided, you know, every now and then, it's hashtag John Day or hashtag Chase Day. Pretty I'm much. I'm guessing more hashtag Chase Absolutely. Day. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, go He ahead. just doesn't realize it. it yeah. I mean, tomorrow's definitely I mean, hashtag Chase Day. I know, I, I know Day. I'm sounding like I'm being a bit dramatic right now, but I'm totally not being dramatic <laughs> because I swear to God, if John's not happy, nobody's, nobody's happy. Nobody's happy. He'll take them all down. Well, that's, that's, a, that's a good trait for a trainer to have, though. Yeah. So you don't want to mess with him. Yeah, he's my trainer. I'm his life coach. I'm a life coach now, Kathy. Oh, John. Well, it's all right. We'll, well, we'll we, we, ha we had to give him a, we had to give him some kind of title yeah. because like he just felt bad because he would introduce me as his trainer and I would just introduce him as Chase. It's Chase. So <laughs> it's we just Chase. So we had to give him some kind of title. He wanted to be a life coach. Hey, so we might mean, not fulfill his think dream. Think about you know. <laughs> That's the goal to have one name in life, right? Uh huh. Yeah, they just all the big, you know, Prince, Beyonce, who Chase. Else? Yeah. yeah. Mm, doesn't have the same no. ring to it. I'm sorry. It'll get there. It'll get there. So I don't know about that. Yeah. Um. Can I? You don't. I shouldn't ask this. I know. Okay, I'm looking at you, so that I shouldn't ask it. Then don't ask it. Don't ask it. Okay, I was about to ask you how old you are, which obviously you don't ask. Someone. No, you don't. But you are now at the point in your life... Wait a minute. I believe that you've always said that I'm older than dirt. I'm trying to so, be grown up right now, so, Kathy. Well, you know, honestly, what, what, are, the two, what are the two says, words you think I'm I... I'm older than dirt. What, I don't think that's exactly how I say it, but... It's pretty close. I mean, I really appreciated your performance in Jurassic World last weekend. <laughs> <laughs> You, you always were my favorite dinosaur. I, I miss those days so much. What do you, what do you, what it do you think? It was so much easier roaming around. With... What, do you, <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you think? The two words. See, I had something really good. I was going and then she brought that up. See? Uh, what do you think the two words I said to you most on air? Shut up. I feel bad. I'm sitting over here looking at Lisa. Lisa, Lisa doesn't want to be a part of this, but she's kind of roped in. Is I listened to the old shows, and this is like <laughs> twenty year old Chase, and man, I was a jackass. Who's not much different? No. I really, <laughs> no, no, no. It's 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 the same one. It's just it's, a little more refined. A little more. You know, refined. like I wouldn't say shut up right It'd now when the microphone's be on. I'd be like, please be quiet. And I turn the microphone off. Like, shut up, Kathy. <laughs> you know, like it would. So, so he won't say shut up anymore. He just completely interrupts you. Yeah. So like, if he's just done listening to you, he just won't. Won't won't give you a chance to stop talking. So he doesn't I care really, if you're still talking. You don't. Yeah, I get it. What I, I hate it. about him saying that yeah. is I realize that's one of my biggest like terrible things. And if anyone happens to listen to this that knows me, everyone's gonna be like, I completely agree. That's Chase interrupts me all the time. Oh. I mean, I just sometimes feel like what I have to say is more important, more important than what you have to say. You always feel like it, but he he constantly on air. What I'd be saying Kathy, something, shut and up. he just go, oh, shut up, because he, I'd just drive him crazy. I think I had one of those on my phone. Oh, that's I okay. That. Yeah. That, yes, you said Anyways, that to me all the time. So, but we, always your, have so we established that you're a dinosaur. Yes. With that, mm -hmm. thank you. I will say, and I mean this in all seriousness, out of you are one of the strongest 
best people I know. Oh. I mean that right now. And and it's there's no more nice things to be said tonight. But (laughs) yeah. You've got that one out of the So And what I do what I genuinely love about this conversation is I have two of the best people that I know at the same table. And you guys are new to each other. You've met John was on Kathy's show this Uh, week. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. It aired Thursday. Yeah. Whatever. We don't know. What's something what's something you've learned over the years? Because I know that you've been through a lot and we won't jump into all that, but that I've learned through the years. Yeah. I mean, through raising <laughs> the kids, through your career. I mean, I can even think of the different seasons in mm-hmm. your career. Yeah. You you have always been the weather woman, really, in the area and, and the voice of weather. But I think back to all the different I always used to say all the different men she went through. Because you, you. Co co-hosts. Co- yeah. Can we? But I mean, yeah. but there's a lot of guys. Let's uh, let's clarify. Co-hosts. You just never worked with a female, you know. That's true. Yeah. Well, one. So yeah, but you know, I it just that. I guess just um, as as I have gotten even older. Yeah. And going through some ups and downs and raising the kids and seeing that just to always keep a positive attitude. I mean, things, I, bad see, stuff you, happen. Bad you, stuff happens, but you just have to have some sense of confidence that you're going to work through this and yeah. that there are going to be better days coming out on the other side of it. Not if you just sit there and wallow You've got it. You've got to put some effort in to make it better as well. Yeah. And things don't always work out. I mean, nobody promised us that uh, that life was going to be absolutely just roses. You know, yeah. there you know that things are going to happen, and you just try to face them. And don't you think though that you're someone? I think I, I one of the things I've learned from you is when things don't work out, there's always something on the other end that was unexpected that ends absolutely. up becoming a huge, you know. I'm a blessing or a big yeah. part of your life that you're like, you know, I never would have thought I'm a that big, would have been great for I'm, I'm an absolute big believer in that, that the, the age old saying that everything happens for a reason and it's something that you think is, is exactly what should happen and, and be your right path doesn't work and you think you're devastated and the next thing you know something unexpected or you don't even realize that you're gearing yourself. I mean, I don't think that things just plop in your lap. I think that even sometimes when we don't realize that yeah. we are actually putting forth the efforts, you know, to make things happen the right way for us, um, that I, I just always, I just always have maintained a very positive attitude. I got that from my parents. You know, they always sometimes loved it's so life. annoying. <laughs> my God, Kathy, have a bad day. <laughs> Well, have a John Day. Have a hashtag John Day. I, I, I'll you know? try to have a hashtag day. Why is that gotta be a bad day? Why is that gotta be? Why hashtag John Day gotta be a bad day? That doesn't John day sound is kind of so hashtag bad. Hashtag AKA Jackass Day. <laughs> <laughs> he seems to get through it. That's fine. Fair but no, I think that I, you know I I've always tried to maintain as as positive an attitude and and the kids all seem to be taking that kind of of path at which I'm. You have really cool kids. They're, I'm very proud of all of them. They're all I do doing have, wonderful. We got to talk about the family real quick. Okay. Okay. Again, get the kids out of the way. Get everyone out of the way. Went to the wedding. Mm-hmm. You Carol. Met, you met my sister. <laughs> Carol. I've never met Carol. And Carol's now my favorite. <laughs> you know why Carol's my favorite? Why? It's because Carol was so excited to meet me. Of course. It had nothing to do with Carol. <laughs> she was... She was like, I listen to you guys every morning. In Houston. Yeah. She lived in Houston. So, and anyways, I was yeah. like, I, I honestly forgot about Carol until the <laughs> wedding. I'm like, I love Carol. Carol's my, Carol's way better than Kathy. Well, and you would really like Carol if you would sit down and have time to talk about when I was growing up. Because Carol was, she pretty much... Um, ruled me yeah. and so I drove her nuts and so she would retaliate so yeah. you would love to hear the way, the way she shut me down so one other thing we got to touch on we're this is kind of a squirrel podcast by squirrel just all over the place right 
John, you, when I think of you, I think of you as one of the staple, like, all-American Kansas women. Like, I, I, like, one of the, I really do. Like, I, I think of... Are we going back to age again? I'm a pioneer? Yeah. Is that what it is? You were Great. here with uh -huh. the earliest settlers. I came in with the wagon yeah. train. I did. The you, original pioneer woman. The, I, I the, yeah, the she's the OG pioneer woman. <laughs> yeah. <Really? laughs> you, you would make it... Five minutes. I wouldn't know. You go, oh no. God, you would. No. It'd be so bad. A mosquito and a snake, and I would be gone. Yeah. So no, I you couldn't. You trying to like make fire? Or oh something. no, oh, no. God. And yeah. I don't even pretend that Done. I could survive. Anyways, what was I getting ready to ask? Dang it. Oh, you lost. Something about you said something you about me. Oh yeah. So John was born in Philly, grew up outside of DC. Mm -hmm. He has people come to Kansas. And, like, I'll hear him suggest, you know, like, well, we could do this. And it's, like, the worst sales pitch ever. Like, he, what, what do you think, if someone was coming to visit Kansas, this region, this area, what are two or three things people need to check out? Oh, so not just it, Wichita. It could be Wichita, but it could be the area. Yeah. Uh, the Flint Hills are I majestic. Mean, how many times, the we Flint we have a Hills. place out in Cottonwood Falls, and how many times have I literally told him, like, let's go out, and like, and he's like, I, you know, I drive through on the way to Kansas City, I've seen them, like, not the same thing, right? Okay, but, well, it, a lot of it depends on what they like to do. I mean, do they, like, do they like to be touristy things, or John, what do you like to do? Like, I want to, I want to hear what you like to do, and what you would pitch John. Well, in Wichita, just in Wichita, there's Cowtown. She doesn't and... listen well. No. We've been to Cowtown. You've been to Cowtown. My, fa my family's, well, yeah. I've never been to Cowtown. My family's been to Cowtown. Now you have to go, See, though. See, that makes us, I, I just want to point out. No, one, no, no. Gonna... You have to go. He's interrupting again. You have to go with, like, when they have their Christmas stuff mm -hmm. going on, okay. their yeah. Halloween stuff going yeah. on. They have the Headless Horseman ride through Cowtown. And chase Ichabod Crane. They have. I'm not gonna hit you. Yeah, I'm no, just I know. My hands so I can talk. <laughs> I'm trying not to interrupt right now. I just want to say I want another suggestion. That's a good one. Okay. So but like when you're different. talking to someone on the East Coast, and the first thing you, you say, say is Cow, cow Town. Cow town. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm like, wow. Good point. Sign me up. Is there if there's kids exploration place? Mm -hmm. Go yeah, down right. um, and bike on the river you've got those bikes downtown now that everybody you just pick up a bike and go all right there's plenty Lensborg. of stuff okay Lensborg. okay so Lindsborg's a little swedish community that's up uh, north of here about mm -hmm. an hour i used to live there for a long time and they they've got festivals like the and castle right the you can hike coronado up the, heights yeah yeah you know, his family they like to hike they like you know but they don't mm -hmm. we don't really have hiking around here oh yes canopolis there's absolutely beautiful hiking and that's up in that same area. See, I've been there. Canopolis it, Lake is up near Lindsborg. It's west of Lindsborg, but it's up that about that far. And there's beautiful hiking through there, and you can see like trails where the buffalo used to go through. And hmm. I mean, and it's gorgeous, and it's it's Canopolis? challenging hiking. Yeah, and it's it's so funny because you have the terrain of of the lake, which is huge. But then the hiking terrain is totally different. It doesn't even look like you're in the same place. Yeah. It's lots of that, you know, kind of sandstone or whatever, or kind of that red, you know, I don't know. And it's all, it's sort of hilly and wooded and stuff. And, and so if you like to get out and stuff, there's a lot of pretty areas. How far, that, how far is that from here? I mean, that would be about an hour and 10 minutes. That's not bad. bad. No. Uh -uh. See, we got hiking, bro. Why we? Maybe we? I don't want to take you. No, yeah, I'm, not we? I'm not saying that. I'm saying we, as in Kansas. We got more than just Cowtown. And of course, me. I mean, I like to tour breweries, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I can tell funny, you where all the breweries are. Funny you that. segue into that. Oh, boy. I am kind of surprised you don't have a bottle of Pinot just popped open and no, drinking I'm... right out of it. Oh, Lisa, the I night just have to ask you because you, I don't like red. Just it's because yeah. you don't like red. <laughs> yes, I was going to open a bottle of red, but she I didn't mean, like Lisa, red. I know you you don't have to do this, but <laughs> you guys are getting together because you know you went to high school together. She used to tip it back if you you know. Every now and then. She was probably the one that snuck it in the games and like a yeah. 
I didn't sneak you it in. You guys can't see Elise. You can't I was playing. Oh, no, no, I was. We were playing basketball. We could sneak it into the no. games. Why is he games like the football games? Oh no. Well, no, not that either. No. But she tipped it back. I mean, I saw your eyes. People can't see your facial expression. Right? <laughs> so she definitely. Hold, hold up. This is the same guy that two days ago told me that he lit his entire driveway on fire when he was a kid just because he want on 4th of July, just because he wanted to see big flames. See what would but happen. he's going to pick on you for, you know, things John, you did in high school. That has nothing to do with the conversation John, right why, now. why not? John has quickly become one of my favorite people to move to Wichita. Welcome to Kansas. This guy is brilliant. <laughs> now, do you ever say, now drop and give me 20? Do you ever, yeah, yeah, but I'll yeah. do it. <laughs> <laughs> I just add weight when he's not looking. Yeah. Very good. It works better. That is, yes. how, that is honestly that how it goes. Going, I would, because I don't know any, like, he keeps track of everything. I'll be like, this is it. Have I done this before? <laughs> it's probably the best way to get me to, you know, move up too, because. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If I knew, I'd be like, I don't want to do that. M- Mr. Self Motivator. Yeah. I'm very self motivated. Yes, you are. Yes, yeah. you're a very, very smart young man, and I'm very proud of you. It's been fun to watch you she grow means that. up. She means I really that. do. Yes. She means that. I really yes. do. It's been fun to watch you grow up. It is kind of funny when I do, and John, I mean, I've said this, I've made some stupid choices, but I really did kind of have a great group at that time. Kind of those years where you're making some good choices, bad choices. Uh-huh. Uh they kept me out of some trouble. <laughs> Not all of it. Not all of it. Not all of it. But, yeah. Um, so what do you think? What's next for Kathy Carrier? Oh, Chase, that's a hard one. I don't know. I mean, I'm not a real future planner kind of person. I literally live for the day. I mean, I just, I'm, I'm enjoying what I'm doing right now. Mm-hmm. I still enjoy what I do. It keeps me busy. I don't even know what I would do if I didn't have something still you know, to go to every day. And I'm back doing weather all over the state, which is fun. And I enjoy that. And don't, let's not get into. You, I'm I, not saying anything. Yeah. <laughs> what? Ridiculed the other day when we had some not so great weather moved through. And Chase was texting saying, am I going to be okay? Am I? And I said, I, I'm down at the neighbors having a glass of wine. <laughs> and I mean, I'm sitting here. I'm thinking to myself, like, for, there are people who don't know her who are like, well, Kathy's, we, we not, don't, saying. Kathy's not saying anything on the air, so... We're good, you know, people, and I'm like, there's a funnel cloud coming down, <laughs> and it's like, I'm just down the street having a that, glass of wine, no big deal. Now, let me clarify, that was not the Eureka tornado, but that caught everybody. That was an yeah. amazing storm that literally formed on top of Eureka, wow. and that's you know, that's just a good example of And I will say, in her defense, she was texting me as those were popping up. Well, and it's, you know, it's just, it, as Kansans, you have to know that... I mean, when when watches and stuff are issued, there's a reason for that. Mm-hmm. Even though it still may be sunny and it may be kind of quiet out there, there's just to keep an eye. So, and the folks in Eureka did a great job as yeah. far as getting into shelter, and, and they had little to no time. That was incredible. So, anyway. okay, Lisa, is there anything else we should know about Kathy? <laughs> John, is there anything else you need to know about Kathy? I'm good, man. Yeah. I think I learned I a mean, lot tonight. Yeah. I learned that we're on the same page that yes. about you, so I mean, we're good. And that's the most important thing. We're like thing two that of the few up. people who aren't fooled. You are on the same page in how much you appreciate and love and respect. No, I don't think you know, that's where we were going. Yeah. I don't think that's where we were going, but if that's what you want to believe, honey, you just believe that. That's Whatever helps <laughs> you sleep at night. <laughs> oh, I sleep just fine. Yeah. I take, yeah. Mel- I take melatonin. Uh, the chewy, the chewy melatonin, like the kid stuff. <laughs> and it recommends two for adults, and I have one, and I'm and you're out of there. Yep. <laughs> no, honestly, I don't know what... Um, I'm just enjoying watching... Uh, uh, what all the kids are doing. They're all living in neat places that give me lots of great places to go visit. And uh, I've got so many wonderful friends here in Wichita and people in my life that it's all good. I don't know. I just, if, if every day could just be like this, I'm fine. 
when she gets to see me, right? I mean, that's every, every yeah. Yeah, that's exactly that's where I was going. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. <laughs> so, right. Ca- so, Kathy, right. one last thing. Yeah. I need to know. Yeah. What is your favorite chase moment? Because, oh. or even just one that pops in your head. Oh, God. That's a good question. Favorite chase moment. Oh, give me. Oh man, there's just so many. <laughs> <laughs> I know it. God, now I'm kind of curious. What is your favorite chase moment? Uh, well, we, I mean, we. I'll just tell you. I'll tell you. You think about it, and I'll tell you real quick, and we'll we're, we'll be done. Okay. My favorite Kathy moment, and I mean, I mean this in all sincerity, and I think there's a picture hanging around the corner of your house. If it's oh still well, there. that well, that's one of my favorite moments is but when I, you showed up with that. Well, no, but I. The show where she oh. was moving out of the house in Lindsborg to move to Wichita mm-hmm. after mm-hmm. it had been decided she was coming. Mm-hmm. It was when Miranda Lambert had that song, The House That Built Me, and mm-hmm. it was all over the air. Mm-hmm. And it was like, I don't think, it, maybe Anthony, being the wizard he is, had that teed up, but I think it was just going in or out of a break. And we'd literally done the break where you were like getting off because you were about to put yeah. your stuff in the car and yeah head back and it was just so it was like the coolest most authentic human moment i think we all had on that show because if if you listen to kathy at all over the last 20 years you always knew kathy was at home with the kids uh-huh. and kathy was in Lindsborg uh-huh. and kathy and mm-hmm. it was kind of like the end of that chapter and the start of this new mm-hmm. one and i always think of that show is just and i was i mean yeah I don't have any kids, and I was young, and I, uh-huh. you know, can't relate to that. But right. I just remember feeling all of that, and it being real. Oh, it was. It was cool, and it was, it and was I think tough. that's what I was, you know, talking about earlier when you talk about. You've always been so good at not reinventing yourself, but having these when you think it's like, all right, it's over now. And then, like, this other chapter. <laughs> it's either that or I'm just, like, a bad rash that won't no. go away. So it's one of those. We Honestly, are going to get you moved into the home soon. Thank We're gonna, you. We're going to get you know, get That's nice fine. Nice <laughs> okay. Honestly, there's just, it's just several different things about you know, just working with Chase was so much fun. And it didn't matter what we did, whether it was driving an hour in the car to a football game. <laughs> And playing, we and they'd always make me play truth, truth or dare, dare in the car. <laughs> oh, we'd we'd literally shut the car doors and we'd have to be driving to Hutch or something, and Chase we wouldn't even be out of the parking lot. Okay, truth or dare? <laughs> no, I am not playing <laughs> truth or dare. And no, then, those questions were bad. Oh, <laughs> they awful. Were, oh, bad. oh, and they but, were bad. and then you know working and just watching him grow up and 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 work with people and watching him when we would do the children's miracle network telethon or radiothon and stuff and watch him with the kids that came in and how genuine he was with them and and just john was really wanting more of a jackass answer but no that's a good answer i'm okay see i know you got your sensitive side like i know i know you got this like complete Pain in uh-huh. the butt side, and uh-huh. then you got your sensitive yeah. side. So I knew that was part of you. John says I'm soft. I'm you soft. are. Yeah, you're I'm a big softie. softie. I don't know. I don't know. He's a big softie, but it's just in. And any time he needs something, he always calls him. And goes, Kathy. <laughs> got, here's what you're doing. <laughs> my he buddy doesn't Kathy, ask me. My buddy John just took a job at the South YMCA. And we need bowlers on our bulletin <laughs> team. Well, we'll see you next weekend. <laughs> <That's not laughs> <what he's doing. laughs> So John, John would like to say thank you at this point. Yeah, thank, yeah. You, thank you for doing that. Oh, yeah. I'm happy to. And I'm thank you for that. putting up with him so I don't always have to do it. You're very yeah. welcome. You're very welcome. Yeah. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to, to spend time with both of you. And really, welcome to Kansas. I'm thank glad you're here because you're whipping this guy into shape. And we're all thankful for that. Well, we went over our 20 minutes, so we know we interrupt girls' night. Lisa, thanks for letting us interrupt. You're welcome. And thanks yeah. for, you know, giving us kind of... Some insights, Kathy and Mm -hmm. Hustle. She was very, very quiet.